Okay, this is Yikes Dude 754, and we're back with Doom 64 Retribution. And unfortunately, I ran into some technical problems. Or because I was trying to solve a mystery in this map uh, that uh, I don't know what it does, but it's, it, it is certainly a very interesting mystery that I was trying to solve, and I spent a, a good deal of time trying to solve it. But unfortunately, I failed to do that, and and uh, because of that, I was recording, and it was uh, the file size was getting out of hand, and when I rendered the video, um, it was unwatchable. So it was more than 30 minutes long video, and I'm I had to use the change map command to restore this map because I had a mid-level save, which was a bad idea. But the thing with this map that I was trying to solve can be found from here. I'm not sure if you can see that, but that is a demon artifact symbol. It's one of those tiny symbols that you see uh, in the, uh, I think it's uh, level 28 uh, of Doom 64, the uh, Absolution, which would be the last level of the game. So, I don't know what that does, or does it even do anything? But here we do have an interesting mystery. This is a bar. I don't know how do you open up this, but you see those candles in the distance. Apparently, um, there are numerous candles around this map. Let me just uh, show you. There's actually one right here. And you have to press use on this. And now we're going to go back and check out if it actually did anything. It did. So we can see one of those candles lit. So apparently we have to find all of those candles and light them up in order to get the secret. I, I, I haven't been able to find all, uh, all of them, but I hope that I can find all of them and not to mention uh, to survive this map because it is, it is a very tough situation where I'm at right now, so... Because it's basically one hit and I'm dead. And this map uh, doesn't really have an awful lot of health. But here we do have the first secret of the map. So it is important not to take damage. Uh, there's unfortunately a little bit of a section coming up that I might have to take some damage. I truly hope that it's... Yeah, they're dead. And there should be one more shotgun guy. Oh yeah, and then there's that Baron guy. And here we do have the second candle. And now we do have to be really careful. Oh jeez, uh, this is not good. Oh yeah, 10 health. So dead, so dead, so dead, so dead, so dead. <sighs> yeah, this is, this is bad. It's basically one hit and I'm dead. But, um, oh yeah, it gets better by the minute. And one of these candles was around here. This is candle number three. So let's use it. And this was basically use a useless area. It was just uh, another way to access this area and... Thanks. Oh yeah, and then we do have these arachnotrons in the distance. I think... Oh yeah, and then there's that guy, so we have to uh, be really careful. Okay, there we go. And some minor health pickup pickups. Not much, but they can make all the difference. And this was... 
the thing that I did not have the slightest clue how to open the, up that one and somehow it is open and that is a mystery switch. I don't know what it did. Uh, I'm gonna take my chances and go over there and pick these up. And let's make a really quick run across. And thank goodness we didn't take any damage. And of course, you know, the minute that you say that you don't take any damage, of course you do. And these open up some bars around here. I don't remember what they do. I think it was actually that one one of those switches. Uh, uh, back. No, it wasn't here. Or actually, it was this way. No, it wasn't this way. Then we have to use this teleporter to backtrack. And I think the switch was this one. And there were a couple of spawning shotgun guys, I think. Oh yeah, it was in the store. But now we can check on this thing. Let's see if it actually opened up this bar. Open up that bar, I truly hope it did. Actually it did! Oh yeah, this is the first time I've been able to access this candle room. So we have one, two, three, four. Uh, let me think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine candles. Nine candles that have to be lit. And so far we have uh, lit up three. And we have six to go. And there's a little bit of a mini ambush with some spawning demons. And a medkit. A rare thing to come by in this map. Uh, this is where uh, we do get a little bit of a tough... Oh! Jesus. Where's that? Uh, there should be another shotgun guy, and to have 93% health uh, in this map. That's a... Not these, you know, spawn things. I don't like these things. But here we do have the rocket launcher. And we do get some lost souls too. Yeah, these guys are like super angry, so we better be careful. Uh, and then there's this switch on the other side. It's the same thing. We do get... Uh... Jesus Christ, these guys are just so fast. And I think there might be just a few more. Then there's the switch. So it will lower up that key, lower down that key just enough so you can make a jump. So. Be super careful because those Baron shots, they do a plenty of damage. Okay, that's cool. So we got the red key now. And this area, to my understanding, doesn't have a single candle in it. So, uh, we're probably not going to, you know, bother wasting our time uh, around this area. And one of the candles is around here, and there should be another candle around here. So... And this is one of those uh, Doom 64 uh, map uh, 16 moments. Uh, it's a little bit of a, like, a black keep from uh, Doom 64.
I wonder what that is. That's a really out of place symbol. God. Oh no. Jesus, that could have been so much worse. Oh yeah, it's just a switch that will raise up these stairs. And these will lead us to the key. So we have to press this and this little switch. So there's gonna be a little bit of a mini ambush with some imps. Nothing too dramatic. And we do have one of those candles here. There we go. And the blue door is right here. And I think there might have been a candle around here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. And something was lowered. And that's where the exit uh, of this map is. But there is actually a pretty long way for us to get there. But in the meanwhile, we can always check out the yellow door. Nice. Okay, so now we take this lift and be careful because of that. And here we do have some rockets and shells. But yeah, this map is, uh, you kind of like have to be on your toes at all times. And this is an interesting little thing. Here we do have one of those candles again, but this is one of those combination switches. So if I remember correctly, the correct combination might have been this one. I truly hope it was. Oh no, it was the wrong combination. And every time you get it wrong, it's It's two hell knights. So it was wrong again. Oh, damn it. I'm not playing Duke Nukem 3D, please. Could it have been this one then? Or was it already the same? Yeah, it was the same one again. Yay, and here we go again. I'm probably just uh... so let me think oh yeah that's the correct combination <sighs> she's Jesus Christ, we're, we're just so low in health. It, it is a really bad situation. And what did this was... Uh, what did this exactly do? I, I have no idea. Oh yeah. And then there's this part. You know, these things, they, what they do. And one candle. Thank goodness. Barely made it. But 
Uh, to my understanding, this area should not have uh, more of those candles. And now this is all interconnected, so... We do have all the keys, and I, to my understanding, now the exit of this map should be available. Which means that you have to do this. Please. There we go. And no traps. But the secret is the one thing that we still have remaining. And if I recall correctly, those were all of the candles that I was able to come by. So I guess we could, you know, backtrack to the beginning and check out how many candles we have been able to find. Oh yeah, we found them all. Thanks. It was pretty... I was expecting a demon artifact, but that's that's completely fine by me too. So let's get out of here. <laughs> yeah. It was a... I would say there are certain, certainly easier ways to get a Megasphere in this game, but, you know, I'll take it. Oh wait, it's not this one. But yeah, we made it. Uh, now I do have to remember where to go. So I guess it was upstairs, and then there was this teleporter. Yeah, there it is. So yeah, no secret exits, unfortunately, so let's get out of here. <sighs> I was expecting a demon artifact, but it turned out to be a candle. Damn, I'm slightly disappointed because I was expecting a demon artifact that would have certainly made justice for uh, given the amount of uh, work that you have to do to find those all of those candles and and uh, yeah megasphere I guess it's the you know a uh, good kind of a runner up <laughs> for um, you know in case you don't get a demon artifact but yeah megasphere is always a good uh, second option for you so that's always great too but it's a little bit weird that uh, you kind of like have to do so much work to get uh, a megasphere it's really unusual but then again this is doom 64 so it's nothing new under the sun in, in that sense but but as you saw this map is pretty difficult pretty damn difficult what low health situation not um, not that those encounters would be difficult, but it is just the way that you can't really afford to take too much damage in this one. Because, you know, I, I could say that this map probably, it doesn't have like, probably, you know, five uh, med kits and a couple of like stim packs and stuff. So it's it's very hard to find some health from this map. And it's, it's a very difficult map at that. And not to mention that you have hit scanners, uh, Niper Imps, so there's always this little bit of a risk for you to take damage. But the less you take damage, uh, and if your health is above 50 for most of the time, in that case you're probably going to be fine. And not to mention that there's that dart trap, which I think is, uh, is, a, is a pretty tough spot. But... Uh, it is, it is doable. You just have to watch those darts go and instead of just, you know, sporadically run through them and it, it can be difficult. 
But yeah, we finally managed to solve the mystery of Derelict. But it still bugs me what that demon artifact symbol was doing there. And in hindsight, I probably should have checked that out when it did. Or in in case it might have lowered so you could kind of like use that. I don't know. Maybe it's anybody's guess. I, I don't know. But anyway, we're do all done with Derelict, and we're gonna move on to the next map, which is Nebula. I think that's how you pronounce it. I, I don't know. So, is this one of those arena maps again? It doesn't seem to have too many monsters, at least, but... But yeah, that is uh, level 9. Yeah, but with all with this, we're all done with uh, Outcast Dune 64 Retribution Outcast episode level eight derelict. And next time we will see you in level nine Nebula. So yeah, thanks for watching and see you around.